Celtic are still interested in signing Hydek split midfielder Yanni Atanasov before deadline day, according to a new transfer update from Sky Sports. Chris Jullian shares Celtic farewell, but Angie Postacoglu snubbed in an emotional message. Celtic are still interested in signing Hydek split midfielder Yanni Atanasov. The 22-year-old has matured into a key figure for his current club, making 60 appearances to date and chipping in with five goals from his defensive midfield role. Atanasov has also won one cap for North Macedonia, being rewarded for his club form, and he has been linked with a move to Celtic numerous times in recent days, including by reliable journalist Anthony Joseph on Twitter. According to Sky Sports, sharing an update on Saad Hakabanovi, Celtic are also interested in acquiring Atanasov's signature this month as a replacement for New Bitten, with Angie Postiokogla insistent that he will only move for the right player. The youngster's current deal expires next summer, so Split could be eager to let him go before losing him on a free transfer, potentially putting the hoops in a strong bargaining position. The 22-year-old has matured into a key figure for his current club, making 60 appearances to date and chipping in with five goals from his defensive midfield role. Atanasov has also won one cap for North Macedonia, being rewarded for his club form, and he has been linked with a move to Celtic numerous times in recent days, including by reliable journalist Anthony Joseph on Twitter. The signing of the latter could add crucial depth ahead of the start of European football. It's impossible to truly know how Atanasov would transition to life in Glasgow, but Angie has proven to have a keen eye for talent in his tenure so far and should be trusted to get this one right as well. Christopher Jullian has shared an emotional farewell message after leaving Celtic, but Angie Postacoglu was snubbed in the social post. The French defender tonight sealed a switch to Montpellier to end his stay in Glasgow after three years. The centre-back, 29, was sidelined for 18 months through a horror knee injury, but only featured once under Postacoglu before his summer exit. Angelian, while thanking teammates and former managers, snubbed Postacoglu in his Instagram post following his Parkhead departure. Julian thanks fans, teammates and former coaches in his lengthy social media post, but missed out on Postacoglu, with Neil Lennon and John Kennedy named in the post. Angelian, also suggested he was gutted to leave Celtic under the circumstances, as he insisted anyone thinking he was satisfied to finish his spell in Glasgow like he did should think again. Commenting alongside snaps of special moments with Celtic, Jullian commented. Hail hail boys. Now is the time for goodbye. First of all, I would like to thank the fans for the warm welcome three years ago in Glasgow and for being so honest with me through the up and downs. I liked your mentality, and as you saw I gave everything on the pitch, and Paradise always responded. What a crowd. Some might think that I'm satisfied finishing this way, my time in the club that gave me the first championship of my career. I let them think again. Then I would like to thank the club for bringing me here. I came here to learn what winning mentality was and I've learned so much, during so many great games, so thank you to the Celtic organization. Last but not least I would like to thank my teammates, so many great players, my former coaches Neil Lennon, and John Kennedy and all the staff that was beside me during these three years. Once a Celtic forever a Celtic. Back to a Celtic player doing well under the current manager. Maeda arrived at Celtic in January and made an instant impact, scoring on his debut against Hibs. The 24-year-old was a crucial signing at the turn of the year that helped Postecoglou's side win the league title, with the winger playing 22 matches contributing 8 goals along with 5 assists. He was a player that Postecoglou knew very well from his time in Japan and has been Maeda's boss at Yokohama F. Marinos. The Australian knows all about his qualities and what he gets from the Japanese international during a game. Along with Jota, both players have great interchangeability, which Postacoglu likes to use throughout games as both can play on either wing. It gives him flexibility and continues to challenge teams, with both players being very hard to handle. Maeda will have his eyes set on the World Cup this year, 
having already represented his national side seven times in his career so far. If he keeps up the form he is currently experiencing, he will be a stick-on to be selected by Hajime Moriyasu for the squad with Japan having matches against Germany, Spain and Costa Rica. So far, in four games Maeda has already provided three assists in his first four appearances for Celtic this season. Along with his minutes, he is currently averaging an assist every 74 minutes in the league this season. The winger will be hoping for that incredible record to continue with him providing the assist for Celtic's opening goal against Hearts. It looks all but likely that Saad Hakabanovi will join Celtic at some point this month, with the forward likely to add further depth to the Celtic squad. Competition is healthy and the Montenegrin will be pushing the likes of Maeda even further. And on that note, have a great day Celtic fans all around the world. Let roll up to the party, roll up, roll up.